Welcome to Reiko Interior's helpful hints videos. This video will show you how to properly install A Solutions 2RR corner post. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a screw gun, a rubber mallet, a plumb bob, a laser level, along with some small pieces of 5 8 to 3 quarter inch plywood. Reiko RR corner posts are available in our 2 and 1 quarter inch system, our 3 and 3 quarter inch system, and our 4 and 7 8 inch system. We carry a outside corner that is flat on both sides, a corner that has one glass pocket and one flat side, and one corner that has two glass pockets. With this you can make a post with flat sides all the way around, a single pocket post with three flat sides, a two pocket post for straight runs or 90 degree corners, or you can make a three pocket post or a four pocket post. We will be making a 90 degree corner post using a two pocket post and flat sided post. Corner posts are designed to abut a flat surface on both ends. Special conditions will be handled by our vision design team on a case-by-case -case basis. Using a plumb bob, find a common point on the floor and measure for the height of the corner post from the bottom of the header to this point on the floor. Cut both pieces to this length. Using a cut-off piece from both pieces of corner post, snap them together to use of a template to mark where your corner post will set at the top and the bottom. Ensuring the post is plumb level and square is essential to maintaining alignment with the rest of the products that will be attached to the post. The post outside to outside measurement is the same as your framing material, with the trim snapped on, so when your horizontals abut the corner post, the outside of your horizontal trim will align with the outside of your corner post. Make sure you take this into account when placing your post at the header. Using the cutoff pieces place them at the head then mark all side with a pencil on your header. These lines will be used to set your starter cans in place. Use your plumb bob to mark the floor in at least three corners set the post to the floor. Place your template pieces to these marks and use your pencil to mark the outside of the post to the floor. These marks will be used to set your sill can to the floor. You can now set your starter cans in place at the head and sill. Run the starter cans up to the pencil marks you made at the head and sill. Install the inside post making sure it is pushed up to your starter cans. Using the plywood pieces, supplied by others, cut small pieces to fit into the gaps on each side of the glass pockets. Two per side. Put the blocks into place and anchor to the floor. Repeat at the header, thus locking the inside corner up against your starter cans. For added strength, you can screw the post into the blocks of wood from the other side. You can now finish installing the balance of your opening. Once you are sure all is good to go, you can snap on the outside corner. Using a block of wood and your rubber mallet, align the male and female receivers of the corners on both sides, while holding back pressure, place your wood block on top of the outside corner, out at the edge, and smack the outside piece onto the inside corner. Work your way down till the piece is completely snapped down tight. Repeat on the other side. Do not install the outside corner until you are ready to complete the elevation as you cannot unsnap this piece once done. 
Now we will show you how to install a horizontal mullion to a corner post. You will use the same RA107 clips you used to install one side of your base. Your horizontal mullion is cut to the daylight opening width of your window. For one and one half inch trim, you will be using the RN61 horizontal mull base, along with two pieces of the RN51 glass stops. On 2 inch trim you will use a RN50 base with a RN51 glass stop and a RN54 glass insert to make your horizontal mullion. Mark your location for your horizontal and install an opening. The removable glass stops will be facing the top of the window. Attach the end to the glass jam with the RA107 clips just like you did at the base. Install with the three screws provide. The other side you will install using the DES RA102 clip and the four screws provided. This clip is installed inside the horizontal mullion and attached with two screw to the mullion and two screws to the corner post as shown. Repeat with the other clip on the other side. Use a small piece of glass stop, slide it on, and make sure your clip and screws clear the glass stops. Once all clear, then take the glass stops and install in the opening, making sure the glazing vinyl pocket faces the glass side. If you leave one of these pieces off for the glazers to install, then make sure you tape it to the mullion, so it does not get lost on the job or thrown away before the glass is installed. Thank you for watching Rayco Interiors Helpful Hints videos.